today I want to bring you with me in a Sicilian walk. This is my mom. <laughs> my mom's best friend, our best friend too. And Stu. <laughs> oh yeah, what a view. Oh, and here is Lampo too. My mom loves to go trekking and she knows a lot of like secret little places around the island and I'm super excited to bring you with me. Oh here we found an almond tree. So we're just gonna pick up a few almonds and I think it's such a great snack to have during a walk. And natural <laughs> look. I don't know if you're aware but they come with like this peel that it's easy to just take off and then with a rock I put it on a flat surface. Oh yeah, <laughs> your almonds, mm. we picked a lot of them, <laughs> yoohoo, and I love to go on these walks because you can just find all kinds of plants and aromatic herbs or just fruits out in the country and it's just such an amazing thing. For example, right there, there is a carob tree, so look at all of these goods. They have seeds inside, as you can hear, if you shake them. And they're used to make a flour to thicken creams and other kind of pastries. And it's very expensive, actually. Also, carobs are used to feed to horses or animals in general. Very nice to have, like, on a walk, but it's very dry. It's not juicy, you know? Anyways, let's carry on. <laughs> found a little old village and there is this place right here where they used to make fire and cook meals it's like an ancient oven that's kind of special it's beautiful it's like inside this home you know to me it's kind of crazy to think that like people long long time ago were just right here when I'm putting my feet down and they were actually living full time here they were cooking their meals in this beautiful oven it's crazy should we go inside that one too? let's do it let's see what's in there so curious oh wow here everything kind of fell down a very old stable where they keep uh, horses, cows. Oh, cool. They tie the animal with a rope. And there is a look, a big fig. Ah, a fig tree. But now it's not the season. And here's the well. Oh, yeah. And this is the view from the well. Quite stunning, huh? And I'm not sure if you can see it from here, but there is the seaside that you can kind of see. It's beautiful. Yeah, this is definitely rosemary. Very special fruit. <sighs> Ubriagatina, um, what old man called mm, it. Try, try. Mm. So apparently, this fruit is really special and it's not easy to find wild, but we found. We ran into oh. this beautiful tree. I'm gonna taste it for my first time. Mm. Mm, it's good, but doesn't have a lot of flavor. This is better than the one I had before, but still, such a delicate flavor.
And for our lunch break, impanate homemade by Angela. And of course, we couldn't forget about the coffee. <laughs> Cheers! Coffee time! Where are we? What is this? This is called Tre Fontane. Oh. The school of Tre Fontane. So apparently this is a school. Well, it used to be a school. Yeah, it used to be a school. That's so they cool. Look at this, they got a pizza hey, oven. A pizza oven in, in the school? Hey, you can make pizza here for sure. Let's make pizza. Oh yeah, those used to be desks. Those are the seats. How cool is this? Here is where they used to wash clothes. So here they would wrap them on this thing like that and then wash it over here. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Very athletic. You can notice that there are the tombs of Finocchito that is a very old necropolis. Now we're heading to a water fountain. It's kind of tricky, the path, but I'm excited to see it. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> there is not a path here, really. It's kind of hard to get through this part. We're getting closer to the water. <laughs> oh yeah, I see the water there. <laughs> so here we are at the spring. We can actually drink this water, which I think it's super exciting. Okay, this is pretty. gosh this water it's so amazing it's crazy because it actually seems that you're drinking just straight out of a bottle that you bought at a store Steve is filling our water bottle thank you <laughs> great as fresh as it can be right <laughs> Okay, here there is some sage that we found along the way. It's full of herbs, it just blows my mind. Sage is great in a lot of dishes. For example, my favorite way of having it is definitely with gnocchi. Gnocchi, butter and sage, oh my god, so good. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Like always, 
with my elegance, I get through everywhere. Taking a little break on our climb back because it was getting a little bit heavy. Break. And other than water, oranges. Yeah. Thank you. The break is over. <laughs> Here there are some beehives. Passing by the school again on our way back. Getting a little bit chillier now. <laughs> the sun is setting. <laughs> uh, with my jacket on, now I feel a little bit better. So when we go on walks, we are just eating snacks every 10 minutes. So I don't know if I'm burning more calories or gaining more calories, because we eat all the time. <laughs> Oh well, ah, we almost arrived at the car. So thank you guys for following me along into this nice walk. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, leave it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new weekly videos. Bye bye.